Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. Something a little different today. I gotta get this ASIC set up here in my garage. So let me walk through the plan here. So I have this Avalon Miner 1066 55 terahash. Again, thanks to Chris over at miningsyndicate.com. Check him out in the description below. And I'm over in my garage, attached garage in my house, and I'm gonna put this out here. And I'll show you what I have set up right now. So I have a 20 amp single outlet. This is a double pole. This can run on 240 volt. I have a double pole 20 amp breaker. And I have a cable here that's gonna allow me to plug this ASIC right into this outlet. Now let me show you a little bit about my garage. Sorry about the mess. So I semi finished this off. It's gonna be a workshop and then, you know, mining happened and YouTube, but I ran this 60 amp sub panel here and I actually ran a um, wire here with the intention of using it for a table saw and I haven't hooked it up yet. So it's a 20 amp Romex. And what I'm gonna do is install that uh, double pole breaker in there so I can get it at 240 volt. And if we come over here, this is where that runs right to this outlet. And I've never done anything with it yet. So I'm going to get that outlet installed here. We're going to use both the white and the black as hot. And the ground will be the ground. And that will, eat, that will carry 240 volts to this outlet at 20 amps, which will be able to run this miner just fine. So that's what the plan is in this video. The only thing that's going to catch me up here is I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I did run another convenience receptacle off that single outlet, which is what this cable is right here. So this is meant to run to another outlet because the thought was originally I was gonna have a table saw and then I was probably gonna have another power tool down there that would run off a 20 amp circuit at 240 volt. I wouldn't use them at the same time, of course. And then I would just have that convenience of having one machine, one place, one machine, another place. but. Yeah, that still may happen, but times have changed and now I'm setting up Bitcoin miners in my garage. So I think I'm gonna leave this abandoned for now, but I wanna do that safely and not just shove it back in that outlet. So I'm gonna figure that out as we go. But the first thing I'm gonna do is get the panel set up here. I'm gonna have to kill power on this sub panel, which is also currently running some of the rigs that I have out here. So I'm gonna kill power on that, get some temporary lighting set up and start getting this all wired up. All right, a little bit of a change of plans here. I'm actually gonna work on this outlet first, and then I'll cut power enough to work in the panel. This is not touching anything on the other side, and this outlet is on a completely different circuit. Um, so what I'm gonna do, so this is meant to go to that other receptacle. I'm just gonna abandon this for now, figure out what to do with that. I, I wanna keep it safe, I don't wanna tuck it back there, but I'll figure that out as we go. So right now we're worried about getting this installed, and I'm gonna get some of these wires cut to length. All right, I got the outlet installed. You can see it right there. I think this is gonna be all right. You guys let me know in the comment section. I gotta tidy that up and get another outlet ran soon anyway, but just for today, just to get this miner running, that is the outlet I got in there. So I'm gonna work on the sub panel next. All right, I killed power to this sub panel. I'm gonna install this in there and we're gonna get rolling here. One thing I like to do to make sure I'm not gonna die is just test for any live circuits. And this would beep really rapidly. So I know that I killed the right breaker in the basement there. So let's get this installed. All right, I got the 20 amp breaker installed. You can see it right there. And now I'm gonna turn on this sub panel. I'm gonna go uh, turn on the breaker, the 60 amp breaker in the basement. And then we'll plug that ASIC in and see if all this works. Well, sometimes you buy the wrong cable and then you gotta wait a few days to get the right one in. So I bought the wrong C19 to whatever this is, cable, and uh, went to plug it in and it was the wrong one. So. Luckily, 
got a new one in, so we're ready to go here. So I'm gonna plug this in to the circuit. There we go. I got ethernet hooked up to the ASIC. We're gonna flip this switch, make sure this thing works. Let's go, three, two, one. There it goes. Oh, okay. All right, that thing is rolling in the garage. I gotta make another ethernet cable here. That's going all the way over here. We'll get one to go on the ceiling, but looking good for now. So I'm gonna jump in the computer. We'll make sure this thing's recognized, make sure this thing's up and mining. Over in the dashboard for this Avalon miner, you can see we've been mining a little over eight hours since I got it set up in the garage. And we're hitting 56 terahash average in the dashboard for those eight hours. Looking really good, looking really stable here. I'm mining to F2 pool. Uh, you can see my reported hash rate here in terahash for this account. Uh, the one hour is probably the closest right now, hitting about 55 terahash, but overall looking really, really good. So just a couple thoughts as we wrap up since that's been mining for the last eight hours in the garage. It's still pretty loud. I mean, it is the sound of Bitcoin being generated and I absolutely love that. But I wanna look for some ways to dampen the noise a little bit. I've seen a lot of creative solutions online. So I have some thoughts in my head about what I might wanna try. And of course, I'll feature that all on future videos on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more GPU and ASIC mining content, I guess is what I do at this point. Jump in my Discord if you wanna chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.